hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion related to electrical and electronics measurement and so far we have discussed about the dynamic behavior of measuring systems and the representation of the dynamic relationship between the input and output we discussed about zero order system so in this video we are going to discuss about the first order system so we know that the characteristics of a basic measuring system it can it can be divided into two categories static and dynamic static parameters we have discussed dynamic characteristics such as speed of response measurement lag fidelity dynamic error we have covered in the previous video and we also learned that the dynamic relationship between the input and the output is represented using differential equations okay which obey this uh, expression this uh, the general expression now it is the constants on either side a and b and the order of the differential equation in both sides which give us uh, different types of measuring systems it can be zero order first order second order and so on so here y is the input x is the output so a first order system it looks something like this a1 dy by dt plus a0y is equal to b0x so if you compare this with this general expression right from this point from this point the equation starts this this much portion and this much portion this is there and all of this it is not there they, it is zero all these constants are zero so here this is the general input output relationship of a first order system so a1 a0 b0 the values of these constants it depends on the type of measuring system measuring system so if we want to uh, simplify it what we have done is we have divided a0 on both sides here it becomes a1 by a0 dy by dt plus y here it is b0 by a0 x and then we can represent this expression this expression okay as this tau d plus 1 y is equal to kx so here d is the differential operator this d by dt okay so here d is the differential operator d by dt tau is the time constant a1 by a0 okay this a1 by a0 is tau and then b0 by a0 same as the zero order system which is static sensitivity so we converted this expression in form of this okay so this is the general expression of a first order system then the input output relationship sensitivity we can say y by x or gain whatever you want to call it k by tau d plus 1 static sensitivity divided by time constant multiplied with the differential operator plus 1 this so this is the general representation of a first order system and the first order system okay a basic example of a first order system is a mercury glass thermometer that is a very good example of mer uh, first order system so we have not uh, discussed about mercury glass thermometer in sensors transducers instrumentation section so in future i will be uploading video related to that so here let us not discuss that because it will unnecessarily become complex so this is just the basic uh, representation of a first order system first represented in this way then 
we made some manipulation on it by dividing a0 on both sides then we convert it into this form and these are the values respective values and this is the final input output relationship form of a first order system so we have discussed about the first order system uh, in terms of the input output dynamic relationship so now we'll discuss about the second order system so again we know that the input output relationship is governed by differential equations which is the, in the general form is this now for second order system the input output relationship can be defined as this okay so here if you compare it with this here we'll have an extra term here okay which is a2 d square y by dt square from this to this and again in this side we have only this this and all other things are non-existent it is zero okay so this is the general form of a second order system so again we'll manipulate it we'll make some changes like we did in the first order system so we'll multiply uh, sorry divide a0 on both sides which will give us this a2 by a0 d square y by dt square a1 by a0 dy by dt plus y b0 by a0 x and then we can represent it in a general form general way of representing a second order system which is this d square by omega n square 2 zeta d by omega n plus 1 y is equal to kx here again capital d is the differential operator omega n is the undamped natural frequency which is root over of a0 by a2 zeta is the damping ratio which is this 1 by 2 a1 by root over of a0 a2 and k is the static sensitivity so these terms you will find uh, in uh, signal processing in control systems and uh, we'll discuss about them so here just uh, don't you know go too deep into this this is just a general representation of a second order system most of the second order system uh, which you will find they will be represented by this expression so in signal processing will deal with second order filters and uh, then we also you know correlation between electrical and mechanical systems certain mass spring arrangements they also follow this uh, second order system so there are a lot of examples related to second order systems in terms of sensors transducers amplifiers filters which uh, give us a second order uh, system uh, which the input output relationship is governed by a, uh, this equation of a second order system so here we have discussed about the first order system and the second order system and this is the general representation this is the uh, in terms of undamped natural frequency and damping ratio and the static sensitivity so we have covered the first order and second order system for dynamic relationship between input and output uh, for a measuring system. So I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology. Have a great day. Thank you very much.